Dear students of the third secondary stage, welcome back to our episode. Today we are going to have more and more of information about our story, The Prisoner of Zind. But before, let me please welcome my colleague, Ms. German Beha, today with us. Hello, German. Hello, Ms. Caroline. Hello, dear students. Hope you are doing fine. Today we are going to continue what we have started the other time about Prisoner of Zinda, part two. Prisoner of Zinda, Chapter 3, Part 2 The King Rodolf Razendil went in a coach around the streets with Princess Flavia. She said that the King Rudolf Razendil looked different that day. She couldn't believe that he really had changed. She said that she was surprised to know that the King Rudolf Razendil rode alone through the old town. Fritz believed that it was not a good idea for Rudolf Razendil to ride alone through the old town. Duke Michael wouldn't like it if the King became popular with his people. Rudolf Frazendil couldn't leave the city without a permit from the king. Colonel Sapp asked Rudolf Frazendil to imitate the king's signature on a form. Rudolf Frazendil refused to do so. So Colonel Sapp imitated the king's signature. Sap told Fritz to guard the king's bedroom and prevent anyone from getting in, even if it were Duke Michael himself. Sapt and Rudolf Fresendil left the palace through a secret door in the wall. At the city gate, the guard was not there and the gate was closed. Colonel Sap gave the guard's daughter a form from the king and a coin. The girl gave Saab the key and they left the city. Nearly everyone in the city was in the streets celebrating the coronation. Saab and Rudolf Razendel were going to the hunting lodge to bring back the king. Far behind them they could hear the noise of some horses coming towards them. They could hear them because the wind was blowing towards them. They hid in dark trees to see who was coming behind them. They saw Duke Michael and Max Hoff. Duke Michael and Max Hoff were going to the castle of Zinda. They received the message that all was well. The Duke's men killed Joseph, the king's servant, and kidnapped the king and took him to this castle of Zenda. Sapt could have shot Duke Michael, but he realized it wouldn't have helped the king at that time. When Sapt and Rudolf Fresendil arrived at the hunting lodge, Sapt found some dirty torn handkerchiefs, which he used to tie up Joanne's mother. They discovered that Duke Michael's men freed the woman. They found Joseph's body. They thought that it was Joanne's mother who told Michael's men what had happened. Sapt and Rudolf decided to go back to Stralso. Let's first discuss what we have already read together. The first part of the first part is the events that happened after the coronation ceremony, after the coronation ceremony. وازاي ان برنسس فلافيا كانت مبسوطه جدا من التغييرات اللي حصلت في شخصيه كينج رودولف وما كانتش كمان قادره تصدق ان هو فعلا مشي لوحده في وسط الناس الفقراء. بعديها على طول سبت ورودولف راحوا للهانتنج لودج علشان خاطر يحرروا الكينج. 
الانباء بتاعه وجود الكينج وسط البور بيبل اثار غضب بلاك مايكل لانه خايف جدا انه الملك يكون له شعبيه وتزداد شعبيته وسط الناس رودل فرازندايل علشان يقدر يسيب القصر ويتحرك من مكانه كان لازم يكون في بيبر ورقه ممضيه من الملك بتحركه طلب منه فريدز ان هو يمضي الورقه فرفض وفريدز اضطر ان هو يزور امده الملك عشان يقدروا يسيبوا الاصل القصر ويخرجوا وفعلا على الباب ادى الجواب للقائد الموجود على الباب وتحرك وساب القصر ومشي مشوا في طريقهم للهانتينج لارج علشان يروحوا يحرروا الملك اللي كان مسجون هناك واللي كانوا سايبينه وهما ماشيين في الطريق اكتشفوا ان في صوت تاني موجود على الطريق وفعلا كان الشخص ده بلاك مايكل ومعاه ماكس هالف المساعد بتاعه واللي كانوا قرروا ان هم يتحركوا يروحوا على زاندا لان جات لهم رسالة بتقول all is well all is well معناها كل شيء تمام واللي كان تمام كان معناه انه الملك اختطف وانه جوزيف الخادم بتاعه اتقتل ودي كانت الاشارة اللي كانت متفق عليها ما بين ديوك مايكل وما بين الرجالة بتوعه ان هم دول اللي هيقدروا يخلصوا الكينج من المكان اللي فيه ويخطفوه على القصر لزند نشوف مع بعض the rest of the questions let's have some more questions to answer What did Princess Flavia think about Rudolf Frezendil ride through the old town alone? She thought the people there must have appreciated what Frezendil had done. According to Flavia, how did the king Rudolf Frezendil look different on the day of coronation? She thought he looked more tired and serious. She couldn't believe that he had really changed. Who could Rudolf Frezendil get a permit from to leave Ruritania? He could get it from the king of Ruritania. How did Satan Rudolf Frezendil leave the palace after the coronation? How did they go this way? They left the palace through a secret door that led to a dark secret passage because they didn't want anyone to see them. What did Rudolf Frazendil do as not to be recognized while he was going with Sap to bring the king back? His coat and hat covered his face and hair and he tried to stay low on the horse. What did Colonel Saab do to persuade the guard's daughter at the gate to give him the key? He gave her a form from the king to give it to her father and gave her a coin. Why did Colonel Saab get off his horse and put his ear to the ground? He wanted to make sure if there was anyone coming behind them. Who was Max Hoff? He was Joanne's brother who worked for Duke Michael. Why did Sapt and Rudolf find when they reached the hunting lodge? When Sapt and Rudolf Rezendel reached the hunting lodge, they found that it was dark and quiet and no one came out to meet them. The king was kidnapped and Joseph was killed. Who could not King Rudolf V? And why? Duke Michael kidnapped him because he wanted to take the crown. Why does Rudolf Frezendil suggest collecting every soldier in, Star in Strauso? To catch Duke Michael before he kills the king. Why did Duke Michael's face turn white when he saw the king Rudolf Frezendil? Duke Michael's face turned white because the king was supposed to be lying unconscious in the hunting lodge after eating the poisonous cakes. He knew that Rudolf Rezendil was not the real king. Did Michael realize that Rezendil wasn't the real king? 
How do you know? I think he did because he was sure that the king was poisoned by the cakes he ate the night before. Also, the duke's men kidnapped the king from the hunting lodge. Did Princess Flavia know that Razandil wasn't the real king? What did she say about him? No, she didn't know he wasn't the real king. She said that he looked different and he was more tired and serious. Why did Rezendil and Sap need a permit to leave the city? They needed a permit because the gates through the city wall were closed at that time. What did Sap give the girl at the city gate? He gave her a form from the king to show to her father and also gave her a coin. How did Sat and Razandil get a permit from the king to leave the city? Sat had a form and a paper with the king's signature on it and he copied the signature from the paper. Which way did Sat and Razandil go at the fork in the road? They went to the right to reach the hunting lodge. What do you think the message all is well meant? It meant that the king was kidnapped from the hunting lodge and locked in the castle of Zender. What did Sapt ask Razandil to do after they discovered that the king had been kidnapped? He asked him to go on pretending that he was the king, as he had another plan to save the king. How did Duke Michael and his men knew that the king was in the cellar? Joanne's mother must have told them. Who freed Joanne's mother in the hunting lodge and why? Duke Michael's men freed her as she was a servant to the Duke and she told them about the king. What would have happened if Sap Fritz and Rudolf Fresendil hadn't escaped to Strolso? They would have been killed in the hunting lodge. What did Rudolf Fresendil find in the dark room in the hunting lodge? He found Joseph's body. How much did Colonel Sapp love the king? He loved him so much that he would do anything for him. He never imagined that something bad could have happened to him. Why could Sapp and Rezendil hear the people coming behind them? They could hear the people coming behind them because the wind was blowing towards them. Rudolf Fresendil was supposed to leave Ruritania on the same day of the coronation, but he didn't give reasons. When he and Sapt went to the hunting lodge, they found that the king had been kidnapped by Duke Michael's men. So Rudolf Fresendil agreed to go back to Stralso and continue pretending to be the king, so that Michael wouldn't take the crown. Why were the poor people in the old town happy to see the king Rudolf Frasendil? They hadn't seen the king before. They felt the king trusted them and cared about them. Read the quotations and answer the questions. Number one. You look different today. You look more tired and serious. And I think you are thinner. I can't believe that you really have changed. Who said this to whom? Princess Flavia said this to the king, Rudolf Fresendil. In what way did the addressed person look different? He looked more tired and serious. She thought he was thinner. Number two. 
I heard that you rode through the old town alone. That surprised me. The people there must have appreciated what you did. Who said this to whom? Princess Flavia said this to the King Rudolf Rasendil. Why was the speaker surprised that the king rode through the old town alone? She knew that the king, Rudolf Elfberg, was only interested in good food and hunting. He didn't care about the people, so people didn't like him. It was risky for him to ride alone through the old town. Did the people really appreciate what that person had done? How do you know? Yes, they did, as some of them smiled and cheered. It was the first time for the king to be so close to the people in that poor area. When Colonel Sapt discovered that the king had been kidnapped from the hunting lodge and his servant Joseph had been killed, he asked Rudolf Frozendil to continue pretending to be the king so as not to give Michael the chance to take the crown. Rudolf Frozendil thought that Sapt's plan was too dangerous because people might realize that he was not the real king. Colonel Sapt assured Rudolf Frazendil that Duke Michael would not say anything because, if he did, people would ask him where the real king was. Rudolf Frazendil still had doubts as Princess Flavia thought that the king had changed. Sapt agreed that the plan was a risk, but he told Rudolf Frazendil that if there was not a king in Strasso, the city would belong to Michael within 24 hours. Even if the real king were dead, Rudolf Frazendil would stay king. While Sapt and Rudolf Frazendil were getting ready to leave the hunting lodge, Michael's men arrived. They had brought spades with them. They came to bury Joseph's body in order to hide their evil work. Sapt and Rudolf Frazendel fought against Michael's men. Rudolf Frazendel knocked one man off his horse, then hit another man with his sword. Michael's men wanted to trap Rudolf Frazendel, but he was able to escape through a gap between the men. One of Michael's men shot Rudolf Frazendil and he felt a terrible pain in his finger. Sapt put a bandage on Rudolf Frazendil's finger. They arrived at a farm. The farmer was very kind. He gave them some food and allowed them to rest. Rudolf Frazendil covered his face so as not to be recognized by anyone. He told the farmer that he had a bad tooth. Then they reached Stralso. At the palace, one of Sapt's servants was waiting for them. His name was Freiler. Sapt told him that the king caught his finger in a door. Sapt told Freiler not to tell anyone about what he had seen. When Fritz saw Rudolf Fresendil, he thought he was the king. So he jumped up and bowed in front of him. The princess sent her servant to find out how the king was feeling after the coronation. Rudolf Frezendil sent his thanks to the princess. Sapt told Rudolf Frezendil all about the king's duties. Sapt told Rudolf Frazendil what he ought to do and what he ought not to do, and also 
what he should say to the many important people he had to meet during the day. Rudolf Rezendel was very worried when he met the French ambassador because he asked him a question that he could not answer. Rudolf Frasendil told everyone that he could not write because of his finger. So many important documents were not completed. Fritz believed that they should plan how to attack Michael. Sap believed that Michael would not kill the king because he knew that if he killed him, Rudolf Rezendel would stay as king instead. Michael's six men are special soldier, soldiers who Michael kept in his house all times. They were completely loyal to him. Three of them were from Ruritania and the others were foreigners. Half of them were in Stralso with the Duke and the other half were at the castle of Zenda guarding the king who was held prisoner there. The King Rudolf Frasendil wanted to make himself popular. He wanted to stop the poor people of Stralso from thinking badly about him. He didn't want them to side with Michael if there was a fight. Rudolf Rezendel had a plan. He rode his horse through the park with Fritz and waved to everyone who bowed to him. He wanted the people to know that he cared about them. He stopped to buy flowers from a poor young girl with a gold coin. This attracted the attention of a lot of people. Hundreds of people followed Rudolf Rezendel to the palace of Princess Flavia, who was very popular with the people of Ruritania. Rudolf Rezendel decided to be careful when he talked to the princess. He did not want to say too much to her or she would realize he was not the real king. Flavia told the king Rudolf Frasendil that he had completely changed since he became king. Rudolf Frasendil told Flavia that he wanted Duke Michael to be near him because he was his half-brother. Flavia looked at him strangely because she knew that the king and Michael were not good friends as Michael wanted to take the crown. Rudolf Rezendel didn't realize that Michael was waiting outside as he couldn't enter without the king's permission. Rudolf Rezendel apologized to Michael and told him he didn't know he was waiting. Brudel Frasendel said that his hand was hurt because an animal bit him. He meant Michael. Rudolf Frasendel thanked Michael for the splendid coronation. He also thanked him for the great time he had had at the hunting lodge. When Michael heard that, he jumped to his feet and walked angrily to the door. Michael introduced three of his six men to Rudolf Frasendil and told him that they were loyal to the king. One of the three men smiled when Rudolf Frasendil spoke to him in English. Rudolf Frasendil was sure that all the six men knew that he was not the real king. By the, reaching the end of the questions, we also reached the end of today's episode. Thank you, dear students, for being with us today. Waiting to see you next time. Please be with us and wait for us for next time. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>